Hatch provides many tools for controlling lettering. In the Lettering Getting Started video, we covered the controls on the lettering docker. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll take a look at changing the fills, effects, and underlays. We can change the stitch type from satin, which is normally what letters are, to tatami. Now let's take this word, since it's still on a straight line, and we'll enlarge it quite a bit. And as we enlarge it, these satin stitches can get too long. So one thing we might do is turn on auto split. And auto split puts a needle penetration kind of in the center. They're not lined up, which is good, so then you don't get fabric showing through there. But it will split stitches that are too long. Another option we have is just to change it to tatami. We can also do an embossed fill. Let's take it back to satin, and we'll go to the effects menu because we have a new thing in here. It's called Elastic Embossed Fill. And if I just click on that, notice how I have a cool pattern going around on my design. So it's following the stitch direction. And I can change that to a single row. And now we have some really cool things we can do. So see, we have this tear off menu option again. So we'll click more, drag it off, and now we'll just kind of play around and try different effects. So you can get some interesting things going on here. And when you're happy, just click the close box. Now one more thing you might look at is the stitching tab because this is where we control our underlay, things like tie-ins, tie-offs, and trims. There are default options set up here, and it's based on my fabric choice. So if we look down here on the status bar, my fabric choice is pure cotton. If I had a different fabric choice, say terry cloth or a fleece, then these options would probably be different. Also, the options are based on the size of my satin column. So if I shrink the satin column down, let's get it really small. See how this is now a center run? Let me undo that. So if you missed what it was before, now we have an edge run and a zigzag, which we need to support these extra wide columns. But let's go back to small. And now we just have a center run because the other underlay would just be too much for these narrow columns. Now one thing I skipped, let's make this large again, on the effects tab. I showed the elastic fill. We can also do feathered edges. We can do side one, side two, or both. I'm not sure where I would do this on a font. Maybe a Halloween font might look kind of scary. To remove that effect, click remove. If we want to turn off emboss fill and take it back to a satin, we can set it there. Lettering is one of the most common things done to customize a design. You can add lettering to any kind of embroidery design, whether it's a stitch file or an EMB file. And if you're adding it to a stitch file or a machine file, be sure to save the EMB version first in addition to any machine formats. If you wanted to modify the text of this design at some point in the future, you can do that easily with an EMB file, but you probably have to start over if you only have the machine format. So now it's your turn. Go play and find out what you can create with fonts.